Hang on to your tape guns, resellers, because in this video, we're about to break on through to the other side. We're gonna pull some awesome eBay orders, including the biggest one that we have of the year. Stay tuned, this is gonna be a pretty cool video. First up is this micro machine right here. It's new in box. April picked this up for like $5, I believe. Yeah, micro machines. It could be vintage. I don't know. It kind of looks like mid 2000s or so, but got the big micro machine. Oh, look, it's got like three little uh, cars in there, too. Anyway, uh, $5 cost of goods on that. And it went out the door for $27 plus shipping. I've been up since like three dealing with some shoulder pain. I tried to make the best of it. I actually went out at like five o'clock this morning and started to DoorDash. But anyway, yeah, DoorDash was an epic fail. Let's roll back into the eBay sales. Next item that sold is a book and it should be, yes, right here. Let's see if we can move that away. Yeah, old book, a primer of chess. Maybe it's on chess. I have no idea. Anyway, this went out the door for $20 plus shipping. And I believe that this was a pure profit sale because I, I think this is part of the thousand book buy that we got last year. And we are well into the profit on that deal. I'm feeling like I'm just way behind on getting eBay ready for yard sale season. I mean, we have a ton of stuff that's just been sitting around that we haven't had time to go through. This pile here is all unlisted inventory. All of this is unlisted inventory also. And we've got to go through all of this stuff here in the shed and either list it or do something else with it before the 100 mile yard sale. And that's only around three weeks away. So yeah, the pressure is definitely starting to build here. This next item sold very fast. I think it sold within 48 hours and it is right back here. Oh. So this is a set of DVDs, red versus blue. And this is kind of special to me because this was actually mine. Back when I was a teenager and well into my 20s, I was heavily into video games, especially Halo. I loved everything Halo. I played all the Halos up until that point. And a thing that was part of the video game community at that time was this Machinima series. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, Red versus Blue. And basically it's just a group of guys that recorded themselves acting like they were talking as the video game characters. And it became very popular and they made a whole series about it. So if you ever find this out in the wild, I definitely recommend picking it up because this just sold for $125 plus shipping. Over the weekend, we went to another one of Sarah's estate sales. Uh, it was the first one that we'd been to in a while, so we wanted to check it out. Sarah gave us some great deals. Uh, we paid a dollar for both of these vintage light bright refills, and these should sell for around 10 to $15 each. Uh, we also picked up some books. This is a book on economics. There was a ton of economics books there. This one should sell for around 35 to 40 plus shipping on eBay. And this one right here is actually a wild card. Anyone that's been doing eBay for a while knows how important a good sell-through rate is, but this book right here did not have that. It had three listed on eBay and none sold, but the three listings kind of intrigued me because this book right here is listed anywhere between $190 to $230. And it's listed all over the world, here in the US, in Australia, and I think in Canada. So I was like, well, for a buck, I'm gonna go pick it up and give it a chance. I mean, even if it sells for half of that, it is well worth the pickup. So this is kind of a wild card and I'm curious to see what it does on eBay. This next item up is also a book. This one right here. This is an old book on Virginia's history. This book isn't in the best condition. As you can see, it has some writing on the front and it has a whole lot of wear on the spine, but it's still sold for $50 plus shipping. Definitely keep an eye out for this, especially if you find it in good condition, it can sell for a lot more. So I've been thinking about having another whatnot auction. I haven't had one in well over a year, but I had a bunch of these old VHS clamshells and the clamshells were in very good condition. I know Disney VHS doesn't really sell well on its own, but I thought maybe I could make something out of the cases. 
Uh, so what I did, I went on Amazon and I ordered some of this uh, sticky uh, cork board that has a uh, adhesive back to it. And I've made like a little kind of clutch that you can put some Disney pins in. So I've, I'm thinking about making like maybe around 12 to 15 of these and either having a whatnot auction or maybe just throwing them up on Instagram to see if anybody's interested. If you are, definitely leave a comment down on this video and let me know. So we have arrived at the moment where we are gonna go over the biggest eBay sale of the decade. Maybe not the decade, but definitely so far of this year. So without further ado, let's go and pull this order. It is right up here on the top shelf because it is a top shelf worthy order. And that is this yearbook right here. George Washington High School, 1961. Why is this yearbook so important? More importantly, why did this yearbook sell for $600 on eBay? Well, the reason why is that because someone very famous went to that high school in 1961. And if you've seen the thumbnail to this video, you probably know who it is. Right here on this page, right there is James Morrison, AKA Jim Morrison, AKA the lead singer of The Doors. Sadly, Jim Morrison passed away 10 years after that yearbook photo was taken in 1971. But in that 10 year span, The Doors created some of the most iconic rock and roll songs. And the fact that this yearbook sold for $600 is a testament to how popular they are even today. If you enjoy this video as much as you enjoy listening to The Doors, make sure you leave a like and also click that little subscribe button down below. It really helps us out and I really appreciate it. So until the next video, I'm Nick the Atomic Picker reminding you that your favorite plant should be the nuclear plant.